We're getting biodiesel in the RV, but 200 miles away, Sean's ditched the Volkswagen Pusher, and right now, he's looking for any way to travel without gas. Yeah, this thing has a very different type of fueling system. Muscle power. It's called a human powered car. Human car. Human car. You can actually steer this just with your behind. But does it require a larger bottom or a smaller bottom for better steering? It requires a firm bottom of any size. The chassis is designed to go essentially an unlimited speed. Sean, we were thinking maybe you were the guy to uh, see what unlimited actually meant. So hang on. That thing's nuts. Oh. No gasoline, still on track. There's racking in the back. Sean's managed to get himself out of a party on wheels and into a soybean party. The USA grows more soybeans than any other country in the world. Now, waste grease and soybeans have the potential to produce six billion gallons of biodiesel fuel every year, which means soybean farmers are sitting on a gold mine. This is what's so cool about biodiesel. You can grow fuel on your own land, harvest the beans, crush the beans, and then the bean oil can be used as a fuel to fire up any diesel engine. Fuel grown on farms, it's unreal. Hey, Deli. Hey. You got the good stuff? Got the good stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Restaurant grease also makes a really powerful biodiesel. And there's guys that are setting up with licenses in their backyards right now, it's great. This oil looks beautiful. Look at that stuff. The restaurant grease or soybean oil makes up 80% of the fuel's bulk. The other 20% is made up of ethanol or methanol, and that gives the fuel its punch. Biodiesel's going off in Portland. Uh, Biodiesel yeah. drivers? Yeah. How come you switched over? Uh, we wanted to disconnect from the petroleum pipeline. No problems? No problems at all. It runs great. Grease or soybean? Uh, restaurant grease. I'm using biodiesel. So our son thinks that because we got biodiesel, he thinks it's great. He loves it. In fact, I think it's the only <laughs> reason he thinks we're cool anymore. <laughs> we're running the, the turbo diesel on it. Uh, how many miles do you think you've done on biodiesel? On um, biodiesel, probably about seven or eight thousand. Sean just seems to roll from one party to the next. And it was these two boys, Jackson Brown and Jack Johnson, that would get in the crowd all revved up. What would you say if we said today this whole concert is actually being run on restaurant grease powered electricity? <laughs> I think that's pretty nice of that restaurant. An incredible thing. Electricity? Biodiesel. Vegetable, that's so cool. We've hit a genuine cool fuel concert. Just a regular diesel generator provides the power. They just fill her up with biodiesel, switch the motor on, and it produces electricity that gets sent out to the stage. And so it goes, and it always goes Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Jackson Brown is into cool fuels too. Thanks, Thanks JV. Good on you, mate. pleasure. Yeah, good to see you. So man. glad that you're here. No. You're in a part of the country where we've been trying to bring this off for a while. Fascinating to see how many different ways you can generate electricity. Jackson first saw Sean doing some crazy adventure in Australia. That looks like so much fun. <laughs> right, to be hunkered down on this bike, to be like zipping across the desert and all the red earth and the whole thing and just, yeah, well, we're going about eight miles an hour and it's like the hair blonde, just, you know. You're having more fun going eight miles an hour than anybody in a Porsche is going like, you know, 120, you know. Jackson sings what is probably the finest road trip songs of all time, Running On Empty. I never thought I'd be in America listening to rock and roll on veggie oil. After the break, I'm going fast. Bio-powered drag racing. And what is that? Sastra turf. <laughs>